Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles. I could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, okay? So let's see what's going on, Saggies. Messages for Sagittarius, what's coming towards them at this time. Okay, so bottom of the deck is finesse, manipulator or trickster. Okay, so somebody here is trying to, this looks like magic, but <laughs> I don't know. It could be some spell work going on here. Somebody's trying to call smoke and mirrors, okay? But we're going to see what the hell that is. Somebody could be lying about their home situation. Or oh, this person misses you. They're homesick when it comes down to you. This person wants to come back to you or they miss you. But there's there could be somebody in your energy that's lying about their living situation or lying about they're like fake flexing or something like that hmm let's see to make you to make it seem like i don't know that's weird but okay what else okay yeah divorce <laughs> dissolution of marriage so somebody could be homeless they somebody here could have gotten everything taken away from them through the, the divorce so there could be a split going on here. It doesn't have to be a divorce for some of you, but there could be like a where you moved out of a home with your child's father or mother or somebody that she was with for a long time. You guys split up. So now you have to go through the courts to have everything handled. Maybe you want to limit contact with this person. Okay, so let's see what um, else is going on here for Sage. Okay, so we have Divine Feminine, the yin to their yang. So you could be a Divine Feminine, a, a man or woman, doesn't matter. Divine Feminine is could be both. But um, so you could be a Divine Feminine here. You're standing in your power. I'm definitely getting your manifest in this ending because I feel like you're tired of somebody's ass. Because I feel like somebody, you notice somebody's trying to manipulate something. So let's see, what else? For Sagittarius. Okay unsent messages scribbling without sending hmm. bottom of the deck is blocking finances inability to see the bigger picture so somebody here could be trying to block your finances here you could be you could be seeing the bigger picture now maybe in the past you didn't for some of you somebody could have been trying to block your finances i did see identity identity theft as well this person could have been like putting shit in your name to fuck with your credit or I don't know. But if you guys were married, they were, you guys could have shared accounts or yeah, the high priestess with the two of swords. Somebody could be trying yeah, eight of swords, queen of wands. What is this finesse right here? So somebody wants to send you a message, but they're scared to send it or they keep, oh, that's you. What is the finesse here? Yeah, seven of swords. Hmm, you guys could be saying seven, seven, seven. So somebody is doing something. They are doing some crazy shit. What uh what's this finesse here? <clears throat> yeah, judgment. So if they keep fucking around, they they ask is under judgment anyway. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Another one. But yeah, so there's a there's something that you're calling judgment on or you're making a, a decision about here. You're calling out. Okay, there's something that you could be calling out or seeing. I don't know. There's some type of spiritual awakening or karmic lesson here that's happening. I feel like you're awakening to something, though, and you're calling it out. What is this finesse with the judgment? This is karma, too, but. Okay, yeah, Ace of Cups. So for some of you, you have new love. You're making a decision to go towards new love or this this could be self-love here. You're making a decision to pull back your energy from anybody that's trying to, I don't know, finesse you or whatever the case. And you could be going towards new love or this is you pampering yourself and catering to yourself at this time. But this, whatever this is, is going to, it's going to be a new beginning here. 
What's finesse with the judgment and the ace of cups? Okay, eight of cups. Yeah, walking away from something. Definitely walking away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling. Okay, I feel like you ha are doing some introspection as well. Doing some healing work here. Some of you guys could be getting ready to go on vacation or travel somewhere. There could be somebody from your past that want, that's walking away from something that wants to come back. They're leaving a finesser or manipulator. Somebody that just got a divorce or something. Or this could be you. But let's see. What's the judgment? Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, who's this Queen of Pentacles? So I feel like... um. Yeah, Knight of Cups. So whoever this, there could be somebody from your past that wants to date you. They want to apologize or take you out for some of you, Sagittarius. For some of you, you are dating somebody new and leaving a trickster behind, okay? I feel like you're more grounded or more stable, all right? I feel like if, if it is a court situation with the judgment here, it's going to work out in your favor. Yeah, I feel like something is ending. Yeah, something was a burden. The Devil, Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands, yeah. So, I don't know. There could be, I don't know, there's something coming in. I feel like a, a romantic gesture or an apology. It could be somebody from your past, definitely with the judgment. Okay, or something that happened to you in the past that's coming back around to be healed or brought back up again so you can move forward. One or the other, right? But I feel like you're very stable or you're becoming very stable here. I feel like you're fine, stability-wise. I feel like somebody else isn't, though. What's the Eight of Cups? Yeah, the full, yeah, new beginning. Definitely a new beginning is here. Yeah, the full, the ace of cups. So this is, yeah, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries. But I'm definitely getting something new. You're going towards a new life. I feel like you're going to feel more free. You've broken free from something. And you're taking a risk here. Somebody could be taking a risk towards you. This is a person coming towards you. But yeah, the lovers, ten of cups. Six of Cups. So somebody from your past or somebody that you have a past life connection with, possibly. Maybe you had to make a choice between two or they did. Because somebody here is getting a divorce. <laughs> somebody is getting a divorce. What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, Two of Wands. So yeah, definitely a partnership. Could be business or romantic. I mean, Two of Wands, sorry. Did I say that or Two of Cups? I forgot what I said just now. But, um... Yeah, some type of plan or strategy here. There could be some travel. Some of you guys could live at a distance. There could be travel for work as well. You're trying to make a decision on what to do in, in regards to your, your money and your work or something. But Two of Wands is definitely anticipating something or strategizing, planning a move, planning a trip or something like that. But I feel like there's a partnership coming in that you're making a decision about because I feel like you left something behind or some type of trickster is being left behind. Somebody that was trying to manipulate you. So you could be going through the courts right now. So what's divorce? What's divorce? And I feel like then you're going to be a yeah. It's going to make you happy as fuck. <laughs> hey, yeah. Something's being exposed. Somebody could have a mental disorder. They could suffer from like, I don't know, PTSD, anxiety really bad. They they get evil, whoever this person is. But um, definitely something involving children. Some of y'all could be pregnant by this person or you're pregnant by your new person. Congrats if you are, but fucking, uh, I hope y'all ass is not pregnant by this damn person you're getting breaking free from. I don't wish that on nobody. What's the divorce with the son? Really? Yeah, the chariot. Yeah, the ace of wands. Yeah, definitely pregnancy. Ace of wands with the son. So there, there is fast moving energy here. There's something that's going to make you happy. You're going to be able to move forward in a situation. Some of you guys are definitely relocating. But I feel like you're going to feel so free because you pushed through something. Whatever obstacles was in your way, you pushed through. Some of you guys could be traveling by car. Like if you're going somewhere far, you could be like in your car driving or I don't know, maybe bus playing. I don't know. But definitely something that's going to make you happy. I feel like a lot has been exposed a lot has really been exposed here. Yeah, a lot of, of whatever was hidden has been exposed. Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo Cancer. Another Sagittarius, Aries. What's the chariot? 
Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Yep, things turning in your favor. Yeah, this is you, Sag. This is you. Or it could be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. But definitely something is turning in your favor. You definitely like... I feel like you're saying, like, I made it. I finally made it out. <laughs> so whatever this is, you've conquered whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, things are turning in your favor. There could have been a lot of, like, chaos going on. But something is calming down. Because you see that somebody is a manipulator. So now you're just moving forward. You're trying to ground yourself and stabilize your energy. And just focus on your work for now or whatever. I feel like your love life could have been blocked for a while. Due to either you having to, like, go through this divorce. Because, you know, people don't be trying to sign them divorce papers. <laughs> they don't. Or... This could be just as simple as trying to get away from somebody that's a trickster or narcissist or I don't know. But you definitely, I feel like you, you've you made it out of something. What's the Ace of Wands? Something is definitely changing and working out in your favor. Good luck, blessings, and good fortune is coming. Yeah, King of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands with this? Who's this King of Wands? For some of you... Okay, three of swords in reverse. This person got Virgo on their chart, or you do, or Libra. They could be a Libra. But this is somebody, I feel like this person is helping you heal. Whoever the fuck this is, this is somebody that's highly, this person, Um, let me see, let me keep clarifying. Who is this king of wands? Or this could be somebody you're getting over, or you're breaking up with, or you're, you know, this king of wands spirit. Okay, the tower. So, yeah, it could be another fire sign. Or this is you healing and taking action. Yeah, something is going to be a tower. It's going to happen unexpectedly. Or somebody could be, when it comes down to this divorce, I don't know if something is going to be served to this person unexpectedly. Or they weren't expecting you to walk away or something like that. But I feel like you're taking action. Yeah, King of, uh, Knight of Swords. Yeah. And protecting yourself. Yeah, King of Swords, the Justice. I just saw the Justice. I don't know where I saw it. <laughs> but I saw it. So definitely a, <clears throat> a court situation. Yeah, the hyphen is here too. I couldn't talk about the law. So yeah, this is you removing yourself from any pain or I feel like some of you guys could be grieving, but you're slowly but surely getting over it. I feel like you feel more confident, more stable, more secure in who you are, more courageous and brave. Maybe you were scared to speak up in the past about something, but somebody is going to have a tire moment though. Something is going to feel destructive for somebody. Something is breaking down. What's this three of swords in reverse? Yeah, the death card. Yeah, something is over. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, if there wasn't love coming into your life, I feel like love is here. Love is coming in. Somebody could have been trying to block your love life is what I'm strongly getting. Block you from your soulmate or your damn twin or something like that. <clears throat> but definitely this shit is over. Mm -hmm. You're transforming. What's the sun? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you setting boundaries. Yep, there's the damn justice. So this could be a lawyer, a judge, or anybody in the uh, legal system. You know, yeah, the justice, the moon, the eight of swords. Yeah, so I feel like somebody doesn't see something coming. For some of you, you could be nervous about whatever this is too. So there's a need to go within and just focus on things that make you happy. The Hermit, Six of Cups. Focus on your child. If your child brings you happiness or do or, or do something um, that's going to heal your inner child, do something fun, you know, things that you used to do as a child or something that could take your mind off of whatever this is. Because you don't see that things are going to turn in your favor. Yeah, you're going to receive good news. I feel like you don't see it. Some of you guys need to go seek a therapist if you feel like anxious or nervous. It could be this person that you're getting over. They could have instilled some type of fear in you. It made you feel this or, or, you know, you could have anxiety really bad from dealing with whatever, whoever the fuck this is, you know. But I feel like you're very blunt and very raw in your communication. You're standing up for yourself. I feel like you're a very good mother or father here. Definitely Queen of Swords is divorced. So I feel like somebody is happy as fuck to get away from someone. <laughs> somebody is happy. So what is um Divine Feminine? Okay, yeah. Ten of Cups in reverse. Yep. Two of Swords. You guys can be saying two, two, two. Yeah, seven of Wands. Some of you guys are getting a restraining order or a protective order or something like that. Ten of Cups in reverse is a dysfunctional family. Somebody here could have been abusive. 
There could be abuse going on. A family secret could be coming out as well. But definitely it could be a divine feminine here leaving a family dynamic. And it could have been a really tough situation or this is what was causing a stalemate or a blockage in your love life. You were too stuck on this shit to the point where you couldn't even find real love and this person didn't want you to find it either. So of course they probably kept you stuck. <laughs> Okay, and you've probably been taking a while or you couldn't see something about this person you were with or this person that you had these kids with or something like that. But I feel like you're standing up for yourself. You're blocking this person. I feel like you're acting like you don't see their ass, you don't hear them, nothing. Yeah, something about children. Page of Wands, Six of Cups. Yeah, the Hermit. It could be a Virgo. Five of Wands. Yeah, somebody in competition with you. Your own damn baby daddy, baby mama, or family member. It's just like a damn weirdo. These people, they get on my nerves. They do really bad. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? Ten of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys could be trying to heal from neglect. Yeah, the star. Yeah, things are turning out in your favor. I feel like you're happy to get away from this. <laughs> you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. You could have Aquarius in your chart. But you're definitely, this is a positive outcome to a situation. This is having faith, keeping hope, okay? Or praying. Some of you guys could be praying. You probably prayed your way out of this shit. Yeah. But I feel like now you can move forward after realizing something. Something could have hit you intuitively. Queen of Cups with the hangman about this person. Or something was always was going on with this person. But you could never figure out what it was. So you stayed stuck or something like that. Somebody knows how to hide themselves really well. With whatever they did or doing. But yeah, I feel like this breakup here is... I feel like you're happy to get the fuck. <laughs> I feel like you're happy that this shit is falling down or... I don't know. Something about a dysfunctional family or a rocky relationship with could be somebody that you have a that you have children with, or it could be somebody in your family. I feel like you're going to be able to heal just fine. <clears throat> Things are going to turn around in a nice way for you, Divine Feminine. If you've been worried, you know. But what's the the uh, Two of Swords, Queen of Cups? Yeah, yeah. Somebody was trying to block you intuitively. Yeah, the Empress, the Lovers. Yeah, that's your ass, the Empress, or whoever is watching. Um, yeah, I feel like your emotions got in the way. I feel like somebody made you feel guilty for trying to leave or because you're such an em empathetic person or you sympathize with this person or whatever, they played them kind of mind games on you. Okay, because I, I feel like you're a very genuine and kind person with the, the Queen of Cups. You're very loving and nurturing, very caring like the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody played with your, like, played on your emotions. What's this Queen of Cups with the Two of Swords? And they played on your psyche a lot. Yes, yeah, it's the pentacles. You're generous, you're caring, you're kind, you're supportive. You were a gift to this person. You know, and they, they fucked you over. But I feel like balance is coming in. Some of you guys could have even been scared to like put this person on child support, even though you know that they should have been because they really don't do anything besides get on your fucking nerves and try to control you or manipulate you. It's not really about the children. It's about their selfish ways. Definitely a narcissist. Definitely, definitely a narcissist. So what's the seven of wands? Yeah, queen of wands. Yeah, you, you're you strong. You're standing strong on your own right now, uh, Sagittarius. <clears throat> you're definitely um more brave. It could be still fear here. You could still be scared. Like, you don't know what's to come of this. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. I feel like you're scared of something. You're nervous. But I feel like that's natural because abusers, they do that. So this person was like manipulating you for a long, for a long time or something like that. Because this is a karmic will. I feel like this is a karmic, okay, in a situation that you've been in for a while. And you're now starting to fight back, stand up for yourself, have the confidence, queen of wands, seven of wands, to do what you have to do. But there is still fear here and that's normal. There's a lot of lying too. Somebody here's a liar. Who is this Queen of Wands? Yeah, the devil. <laughs> yeah, so whoever this is, for some of you, it's a woman. Let me see. What's the devil? Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody's causing illusions. Somebody likes to inflict fear. Yeah, they want you to feel like this. They want you to, like, weaken so that way they could uh, come in. And they, they don't want your guards to be up here. <clears throat> you could be saying 777. 
They want you to weaken so they can have control over you again. But this person, I feel like somebody's an illusionist. They're very controlling. They are very controlling. I feel like now they're trying to fight off shit or fight off people from around them. This person could need help. They could need a job and some more shit. Somebody's like really stressing. Um, yeah, so we have the Queen of Wands to the King right here. So there is a match. What's the, Let me see. What's this Devil in the Seven of Cups? Yeah, Page of Wands. So somebody here... <clears throat> I feel like somebody is pretending to like be okay with everything or like they're not mad. But when they talk to you, you could always feel, I feel like this, I feel like, you know, what the fuck is going on here. This person reaches out to you and they act like they're okay. They're happy, da, 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 but they really don't like your ass. And they do this shit to get under your skin. They're pretending to be nice because they need help or they just don't want you to see beyond what they're trying to do here. Somebody could definitely be just trying to st put fear in you and stop you from um, moving on to new, moving on to something exciting with the page of wands or, I don't know, something about a child. They could be trying to do something to a child or they could be involving a child to try to get to you, okay, you know, using a child as a pawn, all, all types of stupid shit. But there is, I feel like this, this is just fear with you right here. I feel like it's fear. I feel like you're scared and you're confused. You're trying to figure out if you made the right decision or if you're making the right decision. I feel like you are because there's good news coming in. Okay. You know, so just try to stay positive. <clears throat> Something's going to turn out in your favor. What's this unsent messages? Okay, King of Cups. You have the King to the Queen of Cups here. What's unsent messages? Okay, Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So whoever this is, is watching you. This King of Cups, there's somebody that you do maybe care about. I mean, it could be love. Okay, you genuinely, genuinely could love this person. All right, there's somebody that wants to offer you something new. Yeah, they want a relationship with you. But they, I don't know if they're in an argument or they're fighting with this Queen of Wands or whatever. But there is somebody that wants a relationship with you. I feel like somebody's studying you, watching you. I feel like they... They want to say something, but they could be scared or paranoid. It could be fear as well. They're strategizing on how to offer you something, but they could be watching you. Y'all could be in a, a new relationship or it could be this damn third party. It could be a third party here that's in a relationship with somebody else. So that couple could be teaming up or I don't know. It sounds like competitive bullshit. <laughs> really? Yeah, somebody's doing something against the law as well. Somebody stole something or somebody's a cheater. Seven of Swords with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Mm -hmm. But we do have the King to the Queen of Cups. There's a strong emotional bond that you have with someone. This could be a new person too. So for some of you, this is a karmic relationship that you were in. Definitely. Sometimes I see the Queen to the King of Wands, depending on what cards surrounding it are like they're karmic. The only time they relate is through sex and um some type of manipulation yeah the moon so what, what's the the king of cups right here somebody could be saying that you're with somebody new okay so this so okay so this king of cups right here somebody that you care about or you loved or something like that but you stop investing in them yeah because you've grown you're now the empress you've grown so this person could have taught you something here or you could have taught this person something y'all have some type of spiritual connection Seven of Pentacles in reverse is like somebody's experiencing like financial delays possibly, or this is somebody that you've really lost patience with. You stop putting in effort. You feel like something is a waste of time. I feel like this person is seeing that you're not really, you're moving on. So that could be a totally different situation too. But I see newness coming in. I see stability. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Do we have one more? Yeah, Ace of Wands right here. Yeah, so I see newness coming into your life. So for a lot of you, maybe you're not going back to the past. It's just time for you to forgive the past and move on. Yeah, and go towards new with the Ace of Cups because people from your past manipulated you or tried to trick you or something like that, you know? But I feel like this person is seeing that you're not investing in, in them anymore or they, they, either they were trying to set you back or they're experiencing setbacks to the point where they can't give to you equally. They really don't invest, you know? What's the Page of Swords? Yeah, the Hierophant. Yeah, some of you guys, 
Some of you guys are spiritual leaders, your gurus, you do spiritual work. You are the lovers of four wands. For some of you, this is your twin that I'm talking about over here with this king of cups, queen of cups. I feel like this person wants a commitment now. They want to kind of like conform. They want something traditional. They they see that, they see now, I guess in the past they didn't realize it, but they see now that you and them are a really good match. You guys want the same things out of life, but I feel like this person was put in some type of illusion from a third party interference. Yeah. Yeah, the moon just want to keep coming out. Yeah, they're learning something. They're watching you. Some of these, for some of you, I'm hearing somebody could be watching your readings. If you do, if you're a tarot reader or you're a psychic of some sort, you do some type of divination, they're watching you. You can have a channel like me that's dedicated to whatever you do for your spiritual work. And they're learning something about, this is a very strong spiritual connection. I feel like that's what they're learning about. You're teaching them something. This person could have been a player in the past, or they played a lot of mind games with the Page of Swords. I feel like they're realizing that all you wanted was real communication. They didn't give you that. They played games. But you're definitely spitting knowledge, though. Somebody's, like, looking at you. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, Three of Pentacles. So, definitely a contract coming in. Or somebody wants to offer you something. This person wants to offer you something. They nervous. They nervous as hell. This person wants to offer you something here that could that's going to be stable. I'm guessing for some of you, this is about your money. You're going to be offered a job or a raise. or But somebody's like unsending. Like they're not sending messages. They're like typing shit out and, and, and throwing them away. <laughs> so I feel like whoever this is wants to send you, like give you a new offer. But they're scared. So they really don't say anything. They just watch you. They want to like partner up with you. Maybe they want to work with you here. Like it could be about money. What's the Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles? This could be networking. Okay. The King of Swords with the Hierophant. There could be something going on in court. Somebody here could be trying to hide evidence too in court. Is what I'm getting to. But the truth will always prevail. Hierophant upright with the King of Swords. This is something about the law possibly. I, I did say unsending. So somebody could be like taking back messages. I don't know how the fuck they doing that. You know, people have ways of doing everything. But if the courts run the run through the um to get like everything authenticated, that's not gonna work. They're gonna be caught. <laughs> They're definitely gonna be caught. I feel like though somebody wants to speak some type of truth. It could be an air sign. Yeah, communication. They could be communicating with you telepathically. Or you could be receiving messages or dreams about them telepathically, but Definitely, um, somebody wants to be authentic for once and maybe tell you the truth. Or for some of you, you moved on with the air sign that's new. You and this person are working together. You're in a commitment with this person. This person is watching you be with somebody else because you stop investing in, in them. And I feel like you're a good catch, so you're you're gonna get snatched up again really quick. You know? Yeah, this person waited too late. They didn't say anything, so. So let's pull from this deck here for Sag. What's going on for Sagittarius? <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is luck. Your luck is about to change. So definitely something turning in your favor. Yeah, somebody sees you're in a happy relationship. Somebody's an energy vampire. Hmm. What else? Yeah, emotional abuse. That shit came off the chorus. Yeah, in courts. <laughs> judgmental. This person could have been very judgmental towards you. Or this is what they were dealing with. But definitely a court situation going on. Yeah, with divorce up there. It doesn't have to be divorce. It could be like you getting like child custody shit going on. But definitely somebody's emotionally abusive. And things are going to rule in your favor. Could be dealing with a strong Libra with the gavel here. But yeah, what else? Yeah, but I feel like also somebody was accused... Or somebody felt guilty for leaving a situation. That's what emotional abusers do. They they make you feel fucked up about leaving their ass behind. It's because they need to have somebody there to control them. They need your energy. They preyed on you. <laughs> so you're the one that they need. So they're going to do everything to keep you stuck or around them. This person can have tattoos. They could be tatted. It says karma. You or their time has come. Yeah. Somebody's time is here. Same sex love. Somebody here could be into the same sex. 
okay nothing wrong with it or you could be finding out somebody's into the same sex maybe they were on the down low at first i don't know yeah ptsd didn't i say that in the beginning or somewhere or did i say that for aries i don't know i think i did say something about ptsd or somebody suffering from anxiety really bad yeah bad deals or somebody made a bad judgment call what else or took a deal somewhere else it could have something to do with this person's money too they decide, decided to go work with somebody else and leave you out in the cold it says scream goes to extremes for attention so somebody here is an attention seeker switching up they're switching up on you so somebody here is definitely wearing a mask i feel like this person is bipolar they switch from one thing to the next because they they probably have some type of mental disorder they get enraged and then they act nice <laughs> like nothing has ever happened to confuse you or i don't know this is ridiculous then we have chaos yeah smoker this person could smoke definitely a narcissist like i said <laughs> then we have insatiable female never satisfied always wanting more so this could be a woman for some of you this is an actual man that is doing this okay flip it switch it right because not everybody's gonna have this could be somebody's situation but if, if, if I keep saying woman, then they're going to be like, then you're going to be like, no, it's not my situation, but it still is if it's a man. If they're acting like this, you know who I'm talking about, right? That's why there's no gender with Tarot. But uh, then we have someone doesn't want to be seen. So this person does hide behind the scenes. They do shit behind the scenes and plan and strategize. And they, like, I don't know, they're abusive. <laughs> they sound like they're abusive. What is switching up? Yeah, you turn Changing your mind about where you want to be or go. <laughs> then we have cutting ties. Yeah, so this person here that you cut ties with, they're coming back and they ass is crazy. Someone's been acting or acting crazy or will be. Somebody wants a second. Yeah, this person, they get so mad when you don't give them a second chance. Or the fact that you've cut them off, they're enraged. This person is so mad. Or this person could be mad that your person wants to come back to you for a second chance. You know? yeah so somebody is returning somebody that you cut ties with i don't know they could be crazy or they could be like i said you know your situation you know but what if someone doesn't want to be seen they cry for help what if someone doesn't want to be seen betrayal witnessing infidelity for some of you it's infidelity for others of you it's just a betrayal in any form whatever the betrayal is but they definitely are like for some of you this person has tried to break you and a partner up they saw that you were with this person or they were spying on you and saw that you were with somebody else and they are mad about it. So they're doing little things behind the scenes to split you up or break you two apart or something like that. They feel like you cheated on them or you like betrayed them in a sense, but it's really them that's betraying you because they don't want to let you go. I feel like you don't want to be with somebody and they just won't let you go. It probably took forever for them to sign the divorce papers or took forever for them, for them to actually leave the house or for you to get away from this person. Or this is your person dealing with the third party but yeah <laughs> people are fucking crazy bro like really but this person needs to heal they they are this is a cry for help when they act like this they need to do the healing work they don't want to do it so you're cutting ties and you have every right to but when you're a narcissist you don't really see it that way <laughs> sadly but anywho this was your reading sag i hope it resonated like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on and i'll talk to you guys later bye